Hi, my name is Tara McLean, and in this week we were talking about components of an audience, or the four components of ethos. Um, I did the speaker, Theodore Roosevelt Johnson III. Um, he did TED Talk, and I think that he did a fantastic job of describing I am. Um, the question was, what did the speaker show he or she was competent? Um, I think that he was competent because he was telling the sources about like Thomas Crapper, Sue Yu. Um, he said something about the Wikipedia, but we all know that Wikipedia cannot always be trusted, so he did an outside source on that. Um, he also said that he also described his name, where his name came from, and what his generation was. It was three or three generations. He was the third generation because he is uh, Theodore Roosevelt Johnson the third. Um, what did the speaker specifically do to project his character? Um, he stated in his speech that he served in the military and he wanted to make sure that the President of the United States, which apparently was Barack, President Barack Obama, he wanted to make sure that he knew um, that he was going to introduce himself to a president and you want to be very formal when you inter introduce yourself to a president. Um, I don't remember what he said he was. He was a general or something or a, um, a sergeant. Um, which is pretty cool if you ask me. He wanted to come off, come off very humble, which is very hard to do sometimes, especially when you're nervous. Um, you want to basically kind of hide those jitters and make yourself, you want to project yourself and you want to make sure that you are speaking clearly and you don't sound like you're yelling or screaming at the president, you know, because you want to be very characteristic in that pursuit of that. Um, how did the speaker specifically show he or she cared about the audience? Because um, he showed sensitivity of where his name came from, like I said. Um, he talked about how his family were sharecroppers. You know, we all know the history about slavery. Um, and he just said that I am free. Um, I am Ted, you know, or Theodore. And that is something very important because, like, my name, my mom named me after Gone with the Wind. You know, my name is Tara, so my name is from Gone with the Wind. But my middle name is Anne, who I'm named after a survivor from the Holocaust. So that is something that I will always carry with me because um, she was a very sweet woman. Um, she never talked about what had happened. But it's just something that we should always be proud of where our names came from. doesn't matter if it came from a family member, if it came from a historical figure, or maybe a celebrity. A lot of people, you know, we know that when Twilight came out, that a lot of people named their kids Edward and... Uh, Jacob and you know Bella a lot of people name their kids that and, and so I mean just be proud of where your name came from and he was very proud of where his name came from um, what particular techniques did the speaker use to project charisma I think the way he said I am I am is a big thing you don't want to say my name is like he said you want to be more forward on it I am I am Tara McLean, or I am, like he said, Theodore Roosevelt Johnson III. You know, he is very proud of where his family came from. And so, therefore, I think um, showing that was a big, big part of what he did. Um, especially to the president, because, I mean, you show that to the president, and the president sees that you are very humble where you came from. And so, I believe that his speech was the best to show the, the components of ethos. So thank you this week, and I am proud to say that I am learning how to do this a lot better. Thank you, and have a good day.